Hey, Jack. Hello. I'm not very happy. Why not? Because look at your side. How's your side so clean and mine's not? Because I'm not a hippie. I'm sick of it, mate, to be honest. That's better. That's better. Look how equal that is. Just, just call me the equaliser. Two. First time to Turkey? No, no, no. Long time ago. Different life. Now you come back? Yes. I'm looking for something. You can find whatever you wish in Turkey. How about a man who kidnapped a little girl from her American mother? Would we'll not be looking for such a man. It would be dangerous for you. Well, Jack, speaking of real awkwardness, um, do you want to talk about that new film from Denzel Washington? Do I? The Equalizer 2. Yeah. You don't seem very struck upon this one, mate. No, because I watched it the other day and... Um, I know you watched it with me. What's the story? Tell them the story. Um. Good <laughs> question. <laughs> exactly. Denzel Washington is an ex-assassin in the sequel to The Equalizer, which was bang average. And in this one... What does he do? He makes friends with his old mate. Man. His mate gets killed. Uh, his, his no, the, the main story. Cut the crap. The main story. His mate dies, and he has to find out who it is because she's been. Yeah. She's been on a case, isn't she? Someone died. Then she was investigating who died. Then she died. Then he investigates who killed her. And a few people die. It's similar to the first one where it's like someone dies and he's out to bring justice and make everything equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 50% good, 50% bad. I would give this a 5 out of 10. Forget out of town. That's fair. 5 out of 10, to be fair, that was quite generous from you. Yeah, if I was being nice. Realistically, I'm giving it a 2 out of 10. It's bullshit. No, it's not. Right, uh, did you, what's your first impression? I like it. Why? I just enjoyed it. it I, I enjoyed, uh, if you've seen the first one, you'd see, you'll know he's somewhat of a, a detective. Hmm. Uh, he, he suffers quite bad with OCD. A little bit. You know what I mean? And I can yeah. connect with that, because so have I. Really? He'd shoot himself in his head if he'd come in here. Don't do that. You'll knock it off? No, it won't. Everything... I'll knock it off. Put it back in the middle. Everything's going to be flush. Push it! I just want to be like the equaliser. Yeah, terrible at everything. Don't quit your day job. You s*** <laughs> that as well. <gasps> he's, he's crap at everything. No, he's not. He's very good at fighting. And no, he's not. Driving a taxi. No, he's not. He loses his taxi. He has about two fares in the whole film, which takes up about six weeks of his life. <laughs> he gives t the same two people a taxi drive. One of them tries to kill him. It's not a bad One of them's a senile old <laughs> And what else does he do? He's a rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> Men like him would think that. Acting. That yeah, was the let's story. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Denzel Washington is bad in this role. I like. No, he's bad. Hmm. He's no Liam Neeson. I mean, he's not very menacing. No, he's not. He's not. He doesn't strike fear. But that's what I think. That's what I like about it. <laughs> because why? Because he's just an average old bloke. But he shouldn't be. But, but this film isn't trying to portray him as an average old bloke. It's trying to portray him as this. Cool badass. Are you cool? He's cool. Yeah, if, in like a dad kind of way. Yeah. All he needed was some Crocs to finish yeah. his book. <laughs> it's dreadful. It's, no, I don't buy his, whether he's trying to... 
the, the thing is, he acted well in the scenes where he's just trying to be a normal chap, when he's talking about how his wife died and, you mm -hmm. know, just general chit-chat. Yeah. But when he's meant to be this ultimate badass... Yeah, but it's, it's the same. I like it. No, he's real bad. I like it. It's not menacing it gives, at all. It gives, it's laughable. But it gives us life lessons along the way. Ugh, I'd normally give you a chance, but tonight, I'm not going to give you a chance. You know why? Because I'm Denzel Washington. <laughs> That's um, how it comes across. I wouldn't be scared. Would you be scared? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> yeah, but that was—that's the mystery of it, isn't it? The mystery. Right, it's, who it's, else is in this film? He's not scared. He's no, not scary no, no, looking. No, no. But cross him, and he's gonna beat the shit out of you. No, he won't. His stuntman will, because Denzel Washington runs like a six-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Robert, I'm your only friend. It's great, you're helping all these random people and everything. Miles, he's meant to be at school. He's Our school? No, school, school. Oh. Because at the end, he's on the bus. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. He's just good at art. F fucking Picasso my ass, you stupid He's ass. good at art, though. <sighs> no, he's not. Anyway. Um, covered in tattoos, about to go and shoot tattoos people. Tattoos doesn't mean everything, Benjamin. They're illegal unless you're an over 18. Mm. Is it uni? College? Uni college? Well, it's called college in America, isn't it? But no, he's not. Why's he got a blazer on then? I'm out of... Why's he finish I can't, I can't, I can't. No, you can't defend it. I can't defend it. Stop trying. Um, he's, people had tattoos when we were at school. Yeah, the f***ing idiots. Let's get a tattoo of my name on my back. Oh no, we're going to have to cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it in, they know who they are. <laughs> in case you go into the mirror and think, what's my name again? What am I called? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus. But stay off the radar. Something happened to one of ours. So I'm obligated to look into it. Thought you were retired. Oh, I am. It's like you're dead. <laughs> Who else is in it? Um, woman, lady, woman. What's Ped his What's his name? Pedro. Yeah. Ah, oh, what's his name? I like him as an actor. Right. Yeah. Pedro. Pedro Pasca Pascal. Pe Pascal. He's good. No, actually, no, he's not. This is one of his worst performances. Oh. He's not, though, is he? I like him. I like him. I like him in Game of Thrones. I like him Badass. in Narcos. Badass. I. Uh, I want to say I kind of enjoyed him in Kingsman, but I didn't. Mm. And this is his worst one. This, someone's just giving him a ton of money. Mm. Argue with that. Did you prefer Oberon or Guy who can't oh, remember his name? that's just a stupid question, isn't it? No. Yeah, it is, because Oberon's a dom. No, but he played Oberon class. But Yeah, so he didn't this one? Yeah, but it's... No, don't put me. It can only work what he's given with. Yeah, and it's bad. It's, and it's... Bad. Not bad. Not good. But it's, it's not brilliant. It's good. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. I, lo I like it. Oh, God. Yeah. What's the matter? Just yeah, I want to talk about cinematography. Um, cinematography. It might as well have been, because the dude did not know what he was doing. Like cinnamon. This film is held together about as well as my chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's one day, mine and yours, we're going to end up on our ass. We're going to get some more chairs. Who directed this? A very clever man. No, he didn't. You, you Didn't you find his name? Antony... Banderas. Antony Banderas. Antony Fuqua. Oh. Move on. What about Move on. Antoine? I don't care. What about Anton Fakwa and his Usher movie? Hancock can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cinematography is bad. For some reason, uh, at the start of the film, or, well, throughout half the time, they use real weird angles, which just completely threw me out. Really good. No, they're not good. They're yeah. disorientating. There's one scene where it's, just, where it's the side of his head. For no reason. Really for good. no reason whatsoever. For some reason, 
for, for, for literally one scene in a two hour long movie, literally 20 seconds worth of footage. You can see his eyeball moving and everything. It's very unique and very good, very clever. No, it's not. It's utter shit. Why would you put it in this film? And 20 seconds worth and a, of a head cam. There's another, there's another scene where he's in his taxi and it's, the camera spins around the taxi. Whoa! Spinning! Looks cool. No, it doesn't. Are you a 10 year old? <laughs> they killed my friend. Stereotypical. Every character in this film is a stereotype of what they should be. No one's got any depth. Mm. No one's got any actual character. I'm it's it's badass main character, a villain who's bad for the sake of being bad. Don't tell me he isn't. Gangster kid who's a gangster for being a gangster. Um, little Mexican woman who who is so Mexican she can't speak American, <laughs> and she's growing fajitas in a garden. <laughs> no, I don't think you know what I mean, though. Not one person is has got any shade to them. They're all just black and white, and it's crap. I've been trying to justify it up until now, and you are right in what you're saying. Yes, I know I'm right. I just, I just can't help but enjoy it. Yeah, I'm some people- saying I'm gonna enjoy it. Some people will enjoy it. If you carrying all those books around, I figured you for some kind of teacher. I'm a high level paid government assassin. <laughs> The film's too long for me. It's two hours and one minute. And yeah, but how long does it take before the plot actually kicks into gear? Well, he's, he chats to his old mate for about an hour. Exactly. Apart from dressing up as a no, but rabbi. There's about 20,000 establishing shots of whatever city and it what is. what shot, sorry? Establishing. Right, okay. What city is it? Chicago, New York? Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know. He doesn't mm -hmm. establish it that well. It's just random shots of his taxi driving about the place. We get it, he's a taxi driver. I don't need 20 minutes worth of taxi fares. Lyft is just a rip off of Uber. Yeah, I know, yeah. But we start the film, don't we, mm. with him being an, uh, the equaliser and mm. doing a job. Mm -hmm. We then go to, <laughs> we then have five minutes of him driving about the city. We then have another scene of him being the equaliser. Both of the, the first half an hour has no relevance to the plot whatsoever. Top average thoughts tip. If you want to see this film, turn up half hour late. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter. They knew what floor she was on. They're tying up loose ends. Exactly. But yeah, uh, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. Right, where do you want to start? Ooh, where to start? I'm going to start by the scene that's in the trailers where he goes, I'm going to need your phones, I'm going to need your cameras, and anything else that has got proof of what you did to her. Batters them all. Fair enough. Terrible choreography. You can't tell what's going on. Leaves. <laughs> Without phones. Without <laughs> phones or cameras. <laughs> oh. That's my I don't, point. I don't understand the concept of that. Well, then it, they kind of just they kind of just forgot. No, yeah, they forgot. They wanted him to say a cool line. They thought this is sounds real cool. How badass is he? And then they thought, yeah, batters him, and then he leaves. That's so badass. Because uh, you know, this film's quite established. People people will know what the Equalizer is about. You can't have that forgotten at the script. Yeah, really that's not. my point, it's bad. He's your partner for seven years, Mac. It's a mistake to go to war with him. Um, right, can we talk about the first scene then? <sighs> Dresses as a rabbi, cool beard. The worst beard I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> how is he? Why he is looks he, like an idiot. Why is he randomly on a train to Turkey? He's on a train to get him. To get him and get the kid. He's not, he's not James Bond. Wouldn't bother me ass, to be honest. How has, he, how has he found them? There's got to be worse things going on in the world. It, precisely. But Denzel's a good bloke. He'll travel to Turkey to get your kid back. Which... <laughs> I know it's coming. I know what you're going to say. No, I'm going to say... Why is the 
the disguise. Yeah. Because he looks like a f fool. They <laughs> don't know who he is. <laughs> and what? as soon as he arrives, he starts speaking American. Yeah, but There's your disguise gone. Yeah, but he looks badass. No, he doesn't. Not without a disguise. Denzel looks medicine without a disguise, so he's, he's got to like soften it up. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's stupid. That was me being facetious, by the way. Yes, yes. Point number two. That means how that does he smuggle a kid back into America without the authorities knowing? He just come down and was like, "Oh, your kid's there on the front desk. He's been dropped off by a randomer." <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but what's he done? How did he get her back? Did he put her in his beard? Was that the point? <laughs> Did he smuggle up his arse? How? You can't just smuggle a kid into America without anyone knowing. Well, you can't kill five blokes and then steal with the kid without raising some sort of suspicion. Yeah, but that's in Turkey. I can understand how he'd just flee the train and no one would they'd think with it was someone else. With a kid. Right. Yeah. But, and I can understand if maybe he got to a US embassy mm. and dropped the kid off mm. and she was at home. All that to do is she's at home and she gets a phone call. Oh, oh, oh. Hello? Oh, hi, it's the US government here. I'm English. Oh, who is it? Oh, we have your daughter. We just said. <laughs> with the US government. <laughs> <laughs> we have your daughter. We have your daughter. <laughs> we, she was dropped off at the US embassy in Turkey. What? That's all you need. No, that just got to her work. And say your kid's at reception. <laughs> That's my point. How does he... This is why it's, it infuriates me, because it's so... Dumb. They're going to war with me. It's go time. Right, um, what else do you want to talk about in spoilers? Because I'd be here all day because it's... A... I didn't know he was going to be the baddie. Oh, I on. I saw it a mile away. Did you? But, yeah. Because oh. it's exactly the same role he played in um, that other crap film. Um, Kingsman 2. Oh, yeah. He's the same character. Mm. I'll be a goodie for a bit, and then I'm a baddie, and then right at the end, I'm going to go crazy baddie. Why does he go mad at the end? He just likes to be bad. Yeah. I hate you! I hate your wife! I hate your kids! I hate everybody! Ah! That's literally what he does right at the end. There was no need. Mm. What? All he had to do... Right. All he had to do was kill the woman, yeah? Mm. And then not tell Denzel Oy. that the job w had been covered up. Yeah. Because then Denzel would be Denzel running. Would like, yeah. He'd be looking for those two robbers. You're the guy covering it up. Issue issue one of plan that but is. But he tried to he tried to layer it on top of layered layers, and it didn't really work, did it? Well, no, because say it was this many layers. He then just chopped a chunk out That's and went, I mean. I'm here. Issue, yeah. Issue number two. Denzel. One day, mine and yours, we're going to end up on our ass. It was going to get some naughty, yeah? Elf. Ow, fuck. Oh. That went right in my ass, that did. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> it collapsed. God. What, you been eating? <laughs> Right on my ass, that was. <laughs> you're still fixable. Is it? Yeah, you just pushed it out. You're gonna have to because we've got no more chairs unless you're gonna hover. Ow! Oh, oh yeah, fixable that is. Oh, God damn it. So, my issue number two yeah. is that yeah. he hires burglars to burgle her, who then batter her and leave her for dead. Yeah. To make it look like she's been robbed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then he walks in. And finishes her. And finishes her off. Yeah. In a way that doesn't look like she's been robbed. Why? Why? What do you mean? Because he stabs her and she and, and he's like, this isn't a stabbing. This is an executed killing. Doesn't he? That's why, that's why Denzel clicks. Yeah. Yeah, but she's still been robbed. <laughs> yeah, no. I, uh, yeah, but what I mean is... Why didn't he just smash her head in with a vase? So that she'd think it was just robbed? Because Denzel's like, she wasn't just robbed. She was stare. She was executed. Yeah? Yeah. 
That's issue number two. So mm. he's an idiot. Why did he walk in and finish it himself and do it like that? He could have smashed her head in and made it look like a robbery. Yeah? Yeah. Issue number three, if you're going to walk in and kill her anyway, your actual job is a hitman. <laughs> Why don't you just do your job? I'm stumped. I've got no defense. No, no defense. Whoever did this have all chart skill sets. What? Oh, how he figures it out. How he figures it out by 10 minutes of just going. Yeah, that's, the, that's our detective scene. We've just recreated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's he doing? And then he does all of that just to go. She was shot by somebody else. <laughs> what in hell, Denzel? How'd you figure that out by poking yourself in the face? <laughs> what, you, what was he doing? I, I How did you get that from that? I did like the scene where he was in the crime scene, though. You what, know, where yeah. he put him in, the, in that position. Yeah, because for some reason, from a few photos, he can visualise 360. He can visualise the details and the vision from the wife. Oh, yeah. That was dumb. It's all dumb! It was the agency. Family. It was the Star Trek. Very good. Got 911. No, my biggest gripe with this film is, why is there about 45 minutes worth of an old German guy who f***ing wants to shag a painting? Oh, old German guy. Sam. Sam is in love with his painting. He thinks it's his painting, but it's not his painting. Oh, the old <laughs> Something about his sister. I and then his sister walked in at the end. It was that, um... Irrelevant. Yeah. No bearing on the plot. What the f*** is the point of him? It's just a mate of Denzel's. Maybe yeah, he's yeah. a real life... In real life, mate yeah. of Denzel's. Like, and every time they I'm, went... I'm in a new film. Do you yeah. want to come in? <laughs> no, do you reckon he was just visited him every time they went <laughs> yeah. to shoot something? <laughs> Here's Sam again. Yeah. We're, gonna just, film we're just going to have to put Sam in for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but they could have just not put it in the actual final film. I didn't like because Sam. Because it was a waste of time. I didn't like him. Jack is... is, is the equaliser poo worth a watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. I think it is. It's dumb. There's bits in there that don't need to be in there. Uh, but it, I just weirdly enjoyed it. Well, good for you. Um, I don't think it is. If you like the first one, you might like this one. That's all I'm going to say. I didn't like either of them. My arse is hurting now. And mine. So you've heard the reviews, you've heard the worth of watch. Do you think? Uh, a little bit of, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to put a crappy clips out every Sunday. Yeah? Yes. So make sure you, you, um, you check the channel every, every Sunday to find the crappy clips there. We'll do movie reviews when the movies come out, which all dependent on when they when they drop really. Slender Man will probably is out tomorrow. Yes, we will we'll probably so that'll we, be fun. We, Yeah, when the film comes out we'll try and watch it and get it uploaded as quick as possible. Mm.